Many of you know from a previous video that there will be a bicycle stored in the back of Lightfoot, a mountain bike. I'm using my bicycle, my beloved road bike, as a stand-in to take my measurements. I'm using a lot of her measurements for that mountain bike, and then I use this as a physical stand-in. But I'm gonna get this out of the way today to show you the subject of this segment. It's the inverter. You didn't even see it back there, did you? This is the Victron 3000 watt inverter. This is the Multi Plus 2. Multi Plus 2. Uh, it's a redesign from the Multi Plus 1, a pretty uh, substantial redesign. It's a 3000 watt inverter, although this one does not have a 3000 watt sustained capacity like the Xantrex 3012 that I'm used to. That is a workhorse. You can leave a 3012 running 24 seven for 10 years. Uh, but this is a very elegant piece of equipment. It's very well respected. And uh, one of the main reasons I'm using it in this build is it's 40 pounds. The Xantrex 3012 brick is 75 pounds. So I could almost hang two of these for the same weight as the one 3012 brick from Xantrex. It's got a weird form factor though. It's got a strange shape. You cannot lay it down. Uh, you could lay it down, but the manufacturer strongly advises against it. If you're lucky enough to find a good spot to hang this thing, it is genuinely out of the way. You didn't even see it behind that bicycle. It really is tucked away. Normally, I would put my 3012 brick on the bridge and it takes up a good amount of space there. It's fine because it's a very tidy uh, layout that I do with my breakers, my fuses, my water. You know, I've got that all worked out on the bridge with the water tank underneath. But I'm trying to save weight in this build. And like I said, I, I've been meaning to try these Victron products. I started with the DC to DC chargers and the solar controllers. Now we've got this inverter in here. Like I said, if you can be really smart about where you can place something like this, Boom, it's out of the way. The bike is here. There's still plenty of room up front here for all of her accoutrement for the bicycle. This is the garage for the big, beautiful beast, Ford Transit. And this is their primary cooler refrigerator freezer. It's 12 volt DC, fully electric. It can be a fridge freezer, it can be a freezer, or it can be a ref refrigerator. Very cool. Big volume in here, big volume. So this sits back here. Uh, they've got another fridge up front, an isotherm up front. Depending on the trip they're taking, if they're gonna be gone for weeks at a time, they can stock both this refrigerator and that one. If it's a shorter trip and they don't need this one, they can take this out and leave it home, and then that gives them more storage area. And then the same thing above. There's a little storage tray up here uh, both of these have locking uh, slides, so when you close them, they stay closed. So this is a nice little area uh, for more storage. And like I said, it locks in place. This is not finished yet. We just put this together. We pieced it together for this video today. Uh, but there's still a lot of work to be done to it. But isn't that cute? That's a good little storage area. Now, what you may not see back there is the inverter. Uh, that Victron inverter, see that? I don't know if I can take this all the way out. Uh, the inverter is so heavy, it's, can, it's cantilevering the weight. Uh, anyway, the Victron inverter, let me show you that. Ready for another helicopter ride? This is where I chose to put it. It's on the tail end of this whole framework for the cooler and the storage shelf. It's actually an ideal spot. It's hiding in plain sight. And if I have to service that inverter, I just remove these two drawer glides, take the sleds out. I can crawl right in there and service that inverter. The battery, the big Mama Luke, the red battery is sitting right behind it. If I've got to swap out that battery or pull it out for service, then I have to unbolt this entire framework from the floor and slide it over in front of the water tank and I can slide the battery out. As it is right now, the water tank, 
the microwave, the water heater, they can all be removed easily. Ever since the Vagabond van, where I ran the water lines under the floor, <clears throat> I've tried not to put anything under the floors if I can help it. Wires and pipes remain upside somewhere in the van. Uh, but it is difficult sometimes to get from one side of the van to the other with your wires and pipes. Sometimes you've exhausted all the runs across the ceiling. Uh, I built what I call the wire trough. This is basically just a three-sided trough. That's all this is. It's basically a place where I can lay in my wires and pipe and get from one side of the van to the other. It's shorter than the distance of the bed cross beams so that the wires can come up one side, travel across and drop down and continue on their way. And once I decide where I want to put this, it's very easy to attach it to the top of the 8020 bed rails. And there you go. I'm doing my water tanks. I'm putting in my, my exit ports, my overfills, my fill ports. And it reminded me of something that I need to bring up, very, very important. Uh, but before I do that, uh, I just wanted to show you that I'm using these brass barb fittings, threaded fittings. I'm putting these into my solenoid 12 volt actuated water valve. Okay, this is what I use to evacuate my gray tank. This is how you empty the gray tank. You just push a button, this valve opens, empties the tank. Sits at the bottom of the tank. I also have an overflow on the gray tank in case you didn't realize you overfilled it. The overflow will just send it right out of the tank, out of the van to the ground. Back to this. Uh, when I'm working with brass, NPT fittings, thread, threads are NPT, so they are tapered. So when you thread this in, you don't have to over tighten it because the threads get narrower the deeper you thread it in. Uh, I use Teflon tape and a thread locker, okay? This, as I mentioned, is the gray water valve, okay? It's not potable water. It's not your drinking water. So I don't have to worry about using these brass fittings. These are not made for potable water. They're not food safe. Same thing with my thread locker. I don't have to worry about it being food safe because it's coming off the gray tank. If you are going to use <clears throat> any brass fittings in your freshwater tank, any brass that is in this freshwater tank has got to be food safe. And you got to make sure you look that up when you make a purchase, especially online. This is my check valve. This is going to be sitting in the bottom of the fresh tank forever. And it keeps the water up in the, the pickup tube. It's got to be food safe. These have lead in them. Okay. So the drawer box, we talked about the drawer box last week, and here's the prototype. It slides in and out nicely. So this drawer box is going to have two drawers, okay? And it's a totally freestanding module on its own. The top drawer will be slightly less deep than the bottom drawer. The reason being, and I've said this in previous videos, don't make your drawers all the same size because if what you want to put in doesn't fit, then it isn't going to fit in all the drawers. So we're going to make one less deep for utensils, the other one deeper. And when this whole box is in, all you have to do to get at your water pump and your mechanicals is take the drawers out remove two set screws, and this drawer box will slide right out. You set it aside, and now you have access to everything that's in here, your water pump, your water heater, the back of all of your electrical gauges and switches. This idea is not a new one. I did this slide out in van number one, the appliance garage. Ah, the appliance garage. This was one of the great moments in the Humble Bee van build. One of many. Uh, this the other day, Alex put in these stainless steel brake rods. 
so nothing falls out. I just left this unscrewed to show you that this slides out very easily. We can remove it. Why, you say? Because there are components back there that a service technician may want to get to and look at. Four screws, and you're back there. Same thing with the fridge. Fridge can slide right out, move to the side. You work on your components. It is very easy to do. We've done it several times. Uh, after a lot of deliberation and a lot of thinking, we decided to leave this open. No doors. It's too pretty to close up. And the items that are going in here, you've got a brand new Berkey. You've got a brand new Vitamix. You've got a brand new toaster oven. These are items to be celebrated. Somewhere there was an engineer and a designer working day and night tirelessly to make those items look as beautiful as they could look. And we're going to showcase them in the beautiful appliance garage. Now I'm taking another page out of the book, my Pleasure Way Upfit. Rather than simply replace the back wall of that cabinet box, I cut and installed a clear Lexan wall. That's right. Now I can watch those little buggers. I won't have to wonder or worry if they're leaking or even weeping. I can just take a look. I put a small bit of paper towel in the hole there, thinking if they ever did weep, the paper towel would wick it up and I would see it. I'll catch the problem before it rots out the floor of the van. Now, this drawer box is going to have a clear plexi backing. Clear plexi. Lexan, actually. So when this drawer box is in place, rather than having to take the whole thing apart, take out the drawer and peek. Take a look. Check your water pump to see that the water pump isn't weeping or there's nothing out of line back there. These vans are going to be ready uh, the end of May. V uh, the owner of van number one is picking this one up the end of May. And mini-me number two is still available for sale. That will also be ready end of May. That's going to have a beige interior with a nice surprise colorway. This has got the gray and another surprise colorway. Hello? Hello? Anybody here? Wow. Look at this. Oh, man. Pleasure Way had a heart transplant, and today she's got a heartbeat. The door opens in. We're in. Out, out. Out. I know, I know, swing out. There were a couple of issues with the door swinging out. This is the problem with being passionate. You eat your words 